Hello and welcome to Ma'barot HaYarden, the Jordan River crossing site. Behind me you could see the Jordan River, on the other side is Jordan, you could see the, their flags, because we're of course at the eastern border of Israel, and it's at this place where on the 10th day of Nisan, Joshua and Israel crossed into the land for the first time. That story is told in the book of Joshua, chapters 3 and chapters 4, and the way it went down is like this. The first to enter were the Kohanim, the priests, who are holding the Aron HaBrit on their shoulders. And as soon as their feet touch the water, the river stopped flowing. The river flows from north to south. So on the north side, the water just started piling up like a big wall, which could be seen from very far away, so that everyone would know about this miracle when Israel were crossing into the land. Once they all finished crossing, then the river started flowing again. And it says, they emerged from the river on the 10th day of the first month, which is Nisan. And then they camped at Gilgal, which is at the eastern edge of the city of Jericho. Now the Tanakh doesn't give us the date for that many important events, but for this it gives us the date. It's because of that that our rabbis calculated backwards and figured out that the seventh of Adar was the day that Moshe Rabbeinu died. There are two other important events that happened here at Ma'abarot HaYarden. One is that Eliyahu and Elisha, the prophets, crossed onto the Jordanian side, the other side of the river, and that's where Eliyahu was taken up in a chariot of fire to the heavens. And also, that is, this is where Naaman, the uh, general from Damascus, dipped uh, at the instruction of Elisha the prophet. He dipped here in order to cure himself of leprosy. Now, in recent years, really just a few years ago, the State of Israel decided to take this day of the 10th of Nisan and make it a commemoration known as Yom HaAliyah, Day of Aliyah, a day to commemorate and celebrate the phenomenon of Jews moving to the land of Israel, coming back to the land of Israel, since it has that history being the first time that we entered the land as a nation. So another thing you'll notice if you come to visit here is that we're just a few kilometers away from where the Jordan River empties into the Dead Sea, the lowest point on earth. And this entry point to the country is essentially the lowest possible one. The lesson I think we can learn from that is if we're about to take on a big mission, a big task, such as moving to Israel or conquering the entire country, we need to start with humbling ourselves, uh, lowering our expectations, setting small attainable goals, and then of course continuing from there uphill. And if we do such, we will merit to have God's assistance to see miracles. That's a lesson that I think we can take with us in appreciating the significance of the 10th of Nisan, preparing for the holiday of Pesach.